Hello there and welcome to this edition of the Daily 10, your source for entertaining news, celebrities and latest trends. I am your host PNK. Tanzanian songstress Vanessa Mdi has proven countless times that she is deeply in love with a Nigerian lover, Rotimi. Rotimi spread out his arms during a Q&A session while explaining the name How on his right wrist. According to the actor, How is Vanessa's other name that most people do not know about. And he got it on himself as a sign of love. It was at that juncture when he called his boo who was nearby and showed off her ink too. Vanessa raised her top a bit and showcased Rotimi's name perfectly tattooed on her chest. <laughs> Photos of controversial city politician Karen Nyamo's baby shower over the weekend have surfaced online. Nyamo took to her social media pages to thank her friends and shared the photos from the most beautiful and memorable day in motherhood. Speculation is right that the city lawyer and director at Nairobi Water and Sewage Company has been secretly dating popular Kikuyu musician Samuel Mushoki, alias Samido. It is alleged that the riveting politician is expected to deliver before the end of year. <laughs> Tanzanian singer Judith Wambura Mbibo, known to many as Lady JD, recently celebrated her 20th anniversary in the music industry. Her celebration also included her marking the same number of years in a controversial industry without any scandal. However, her clean slate is now at risk of being soiled following the release of her latest music video. While it was received well by most of her fans, some picked issue with it claiming that the song stress promoted the use of marijuana with her lines in the song. Radio host Delango held a grand celebrity started party to celebrate his wife Amina Chow's birthday. The stunning event was held at a lovely back garden with a nice setting for the special occasion with a few special guests who were lucky to get an invite. Some of the lucky celebs invited were Alex Mwakideu, Kabi and Miliwa Jesus, Chris Kirua, MC Jesse, and even some of Jalango's friends from the now known Boys Club. Jalango basically wanted to ensure that his queen had the best day ever. Well, happy belated birthday to her. <laughs> US comedian and movie star Kevin Hart and his wife Eniko welcomed their second child together just a few days ago and named her Kaori Mai Hart. Eniko has finally unveiled the little one's face in a beautiful Instagram picture of her holding the newest member of the family. In the photo, she had a bright smile on her face as she watched the baby girl rest in her arms and added the caption saying, Kaori was everything she could have imagined her to be. Kaori is the fourth child in her ever-growing family which shows how the comedian values his family. <laughs> Rihanna regrets using a song featuring Islamic verses in her Savage X Fenty fashion show. On Tuesday morning, the singer, whose second lingerie fashion line debuted on Amazon Prime last week, issued an apology to the Muslim community after she was criticized for having models dance to the track that included a hadith that is a collection of written accounts of the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad. Taken to her Instagram story, Rihanna apologized to her Muslim fans for her careless mistake, saying the use of the song was quote-unquote completely irresponsible. LeBron James overcame a slow start to finish with game highs of 28 points and 12 rebounds as the Los Angeles Lakers moved within one win of their 17th championship with a 102-96 victory over the Miami Heat in Game 4 of the NBA Finals early Wednesday morning. James scored 20 of his points in the second half and added 8 assists on the night as the Lakers seized a 3-1 lead in the best of 7 series. Jimmy Butler led the Heat with 22 points, 10 rebounds and 9 assists. But this was not enough for the win. DJ Mo has been the talk of town for the past several hours after a lady came out through Edgar Obare and claimed she had an affair with him. The expose which many Kenyans were waiting for left many Kenyans divided on the various social media platforms. Twitter users are affiliated discussing the Moriahs and the girl who is said to be at the center of their woes. Others felt the gospel DJ had stooped so low and argued he should have looked for a woman who is good in looks than his wife. Well, let's see how this goes. Town media personality Maina Kageni has disclosed that his first salary at Radio Africa owned Kiss 100 FM was a cool 380,000 Kenya shillings. After high school, Maina went to study in the UK but never got into a classroom even after registering for college. He then got a truck driving job and started making good money which helped him to join the car export business by buying and selling cars to Kenyans. He later got tired of being in the UK because he could not bear the cold and came back home. He then applied for voiceover jobs which suddenly led him to his role as a radio presenter. And with that, we come to the end of this edition of the Daily 10. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We're looking forward to your feedback. Make sure to catch me every Monday to Friday from 6.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. From me, PNK, here at the Daily 10, it's goodbye.